Hello YouTube, how's it going? Retro Prime here, it's a wee Saturday night, and I've been on the, the sort of Facebook forums, the TFYTC and the TFUK sites, and uh, yeah, people are sort of moaning about these fellas, or, or at least having a bit of a debate about them. Um, a lot of people saying that they're really piss poor quality, they're not worth the money you pay for them, you know, there's, they've got no place for them in their collection. I understand some of these points of view, I mean, they very much are just a sort of blind bag toy for kids. And people are complaining at the price point, saying that three quid for one is too much. Um, I tend to disagree. Whether it's too much or no, but it's on par with what you'd normally pay for a kid's blind bag. Because uh, my daughter gets tons of the buggers, and and there's never any in in them that's worth it, to be honest. Uh, as for it not being for the collectors, they're a novelty. They're for kids, definitely. They're a novelty. Um, there's no place for them in a sort of a proper, like, <laughs> in finger quotes, adult collection. Because they don't really serve a purpose. Um, some of them, like this one here, the watch has sort of homages. It's got the Autobot symbol in the nineteen eighty four, obviously. So some of them do connect to the Transformers mythos and stuff or or, or history. And but other than that, they're just daft wee blind bags for kids. Um, as for the quality, the, the, the you know they're not bad. They transform. The 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 the, the detail on them is really really good. And the, you know there's good quality and it's no stickers. It's not going to come off. Um, and it feels sturdy, like it's not going to break in your hand. You've got to remember, you pay three quid for one of these fellas as well. Oh, get one frame. So, uh, I mean, three quid for this, there's no paint apps. Alright, there's a lot of moulding, but it's very bulky. Very, I mean, rubbery, and the, the limbs tend to pop off in a lot of them. Um, I'd say this is a better quality than this. And they cost they cost the same, pretty much, uh, you know, three quid a blind bag. Um, the other thing my kid gets in blind bags, is these or blind tubs or whatever, is these fuckers mash them. This is clearly... Uh, Chase from Paw Patrol in his super outfit, but um, yeah, they pay three quid for these, and it's just like molded fucking rubber. Look at it, it's crap, and they get covered in dust dead easily because of this because it's soft, tacky material. And you end up chucking them in the bin because you can't even wash them clean. She keeps the Paw Patrol ones in the bath, that's why he's still kind of in a half decent nick, but but yeah, um, so if you're paying for this or this or one of these, you are getting your money's worth, especially if it's. If it is for kids, let's show, shall we see? Because that's what these are for. There's certainly no for adults in any way, shape, or form. Um, a few more that I picked up. <sighs> What's that supposed to be? I could check the instructions, but I just uh, feel the need. Out the packet, one look given to Sophia. Um, it's it's a wee pink ruler, maybe. It's got rule measures on it anyway. Um, yeah, just there you go. It's got a wee smiley face and a. Oh, uh oh, I broke it. Shit, I better try and fix it. There we go. Yeah, whatever. That's pretty nifty. We <laughs> tape measured what the fuck it is. Um, this one is clearly a hammer, and I like it quite a lot. Lift that we bit up to reveal his face. I can't even see it. That. There you go. And then swing his legs. That one to get his legs. And his arms are obviously on the side. The, all the transformation in these things are pretty much the same. Uh, there we go. I shall move these because my camera is focusing on them and not my hands. Uh, the hammer one, yeah. Um, I don't know what this is supposed to be. An ice cream cone with walnut or hazelnut topping. Face is just there. Again, the legs flip out, but I've not got the nails to get them. And his arms come out, and that's him. That's and he's and he's got a waist for some reason. And he's got a very sort of oh oh dear, what is going on? I am an ice cream face or something. <coughs> this is one of my favourite ones. The wee torch. It's pretty cool. I like that one. Just reveal his wee cute wee face. Pull his legs down and his arms are there as well. These would be a lot better for me if, if I had actual fingernails and not fat sausage fingers. Because they're a real struggle. <laughs> there you go. Look at his wee face. He's dead cute. I like him. He's cool. That's one that I keep for myself. Uh, this is one the kid likes. So we So uh, a A tub of ice cream with a little cone, but then you fold these bits up, and it's a wee sort of horsey, unicorny thing, and you fold his legs down, there you go, I mean the detailing on these things really isn't bad at all, especially for their size, sorry you can tell I chew my nails, it's disgusting, but you can see that's not bad, it certainly is worth three quid for a for a blind bag, Um, an ice cream lolly that turns into a penguin, Oh, where's his feet? Is that just his feet there? And his hands. Again, pop out from the side, but of course I've got fat fingers, I can't get them. I like that one as well, that's pretty cute. Oh, and I dropped him. And last but not least, a roll of cellotape. <laughs> that's my favourite, just because I like yellow. 
You kiss me face, is that happy? Hey, oof, come on, you bastard. Oh, hang on, I've got this off camera because he's arms. Ah, ouch! He had the strength of ten bloody men. His arms clasped behind his back, and this is one of the most tight. Ah, there we go, boom. Joints of felt in a transformer. Uh, oh, and then that happens. Get in there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. That's my wee desk bot. He's cool. I love the colour. I love the wee smiley face. And, uh, like I said, quality's not bad. Detail's good for its size. If you're going to moan about the price, then you're buying them for the wrong reason. Uh, <laughs> and they're certainly not the shittiest. They're just, they're just such a bizarre... If they'd made them references, like... If they'd made that blue and given it Soundwave's face, maybe... You know, to make them turn into different things, make them regular characters, then maybe we'd have sort of invested in them more. I'd love the tiny wee sort of Optimus Prime pencil sharpener, but, you know, they're alright. I think we should stop moaning about them. They're certainly for kids, so if you're not a kid, you shouldn't really be too bothered about these. Um, Yeah, so there you go. That's my two cents on bot bots. See you later. Eesh.